family life, mm. work life balance. <laughs> The thing about it is that we, at every time in our lives, we cannot be everything. And we cannot be everything to everyone. You know, you have to determine how you want to make it work. And um, to be truthful, it's not, uh, it's not easy. You know, it's not easy. You, you, um, sometimes you have to juggle. I mean, in order to be able to um, spend time with my children, I have to do things extra early. So meaning you have to wake up earlier than normal. I have to wake up early. I have to wake up very early because they go to school early, you have to get up, you have to, you know, you want to sleep. You've done, you've planned an event, maybe you finish at 2 a.m. Your daughter doesn't care, by 5, you, you must be up. Yeah, I don't know if you understand. So, but you have to um, um, re realize that, you know, you have to sacrifice this. And at some, at some point, you may drop the ball. It could be a, as the CEO, it could be as the mother, it could be as the wife. You don't beat yourself up about it. I don't beat myself up. I don't, I try as much as possible not to let myself get upset or sad about too many things because things life happens and um, you may not be able to do you can't do everything I, I, even people that were there for their children 24 7 their some of their children turn out bad <laughs> so it's not about yeah so it's not about it's not about that you know it's not that i know people that were, were very close with their husbands and i've heard they divorce so and they're there every day and they don't go to work and they're like carrying my husband on their head you know but it's about realizing the kind of person you are. It's about understanding your own family and don't, not comparing yourself to others. I always tell myself, I cannot, I see a few people and I'm like, and I think, no, forget you can't come because you don't know what's going on. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know what's going on in the house. You don't know what's happening. So don't compare yourself. Just make sure that you, you determine what you want, to, who you want. And so the balance is very important, you know, to, so, I, so when I'm not working at the weekend, I try and spend time with the children when I don't work. I mean, but if I'm working, sometimes I carry them around with me, you know, things like that. It's an evolving, uh, wedding planning is evolving, event planning is evolving. It's even getting more dynamic. It's getting, it's going to get bigger. Um, you know, when event planning started in Nigeria, which is, I mean, fully, it's always been this sort of, but when it started properly, which was about 12 years ago, in America, it's been, people have been doing it for 30 years. So we, we just started doing it 12 years ago. So you can imagine, and we've kind of almost caught up. I always tell people that we've caught up with them. If we had what they had in, in, in globally, we will even catch up faster than them. It's just because we are limited by a few things. We have to bring things in. And so you can imagine if we had all that. So event planning for me is going to go bigger. It's going to go as more dynamic. You know, of course, technology is playing a big part. You can sit in your room and plan an event. You don't need to you know, go. There's, there's a lot of virtual planning. So it's going to go bigger. It's going to go bigger and bigger. Hi, it's Funke Buckner Ubrite. And you're watching Paul's TV.